Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're gonna look at ICAST 2021. ICAST is the American Sport Fishing Association's yearly convention held here in Orlando, Florida. This convention is not open to the public. It's open to retailers and vendors and also media. Each year, vendors show up to showcase their products. These products include fishing lures, outdoor apparel, I mean, from one thing to another, anything outdoor is there at iCast. And I mean anything. So this is the day one of iCast. However, before the show gets started, there is a pre-day one. I guess that's the best way to put it. It's called iCast on the Water. iCast on the Water is a way to go out and see the products and also use them in a place where you can fish. So what you're seeing now is just my drone footage of what they are doing and some of the exhibits out there. So enjoy. Here's the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Guy Harvey, Dr. Guy Harvey. I think I've called you dude twice and I took grief from it. So it's Dr. Guy Harvey, how are you? Great, good to be here, good to be at ICAST and seeing everybody back to work. It really has been a interesting 18 months. Harsh for some, good for others. And certainly from our perspective at Guy Harvey Incorporated, Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation, we have never been so busy, both from an art production perspective uh, I wrote a new book that's out, Guy Harvey's Underwater World. And in the uh, foundation side of things, we have developed our online learning and our virtual learning like we never thought we could do with so many important partners. The educational, the Marine Science Educational Initiative, as I call it, um, has been going on for a year. We have been embraced and have signed contract with people like Discovery Education. It is so exciting. We're getting the whole marine science curriculum available to schools in Florida to start with. Nice. That's been a, a really big deal. And uh, continuing as we can our research and education and conservation work as we normally do. But the Marine Science Education Initiative really has taken up a lot of time. It's proving to be extremely gratifying. Uh, we're getting so many hits on Discovery Ed channels and our other uh, channels streaming for kids that it's, it's just like why didn't we do this 10 years ago yeah it's, it's crazy we've, now, had, we've had a lot of support from the the fishing industry as well yeah um and a lot of businesses in florida have supported us which is really very interesting it's a lot what should i say it's been a lot easier to raise money to to fund these programs for kids education than it has for actual research work <clears throat> you know raising money to do research work has been really tough has it especially tagging, tracking, yeah. because offshore uh, research work is very expensive. Yeah. You know, you've got all the, the travel time, the boat time, the crew time, expertise, uh, the cost of the tags, the satellite tracking time, the, the work that all the scientists do at Nova Southeastern University yeah. for us um, is very expensive work. So you have to fundraise all the time to help pay for that. So people that are all over, how, how long have you been painting? I mean, when did you, when? Did, did you paint when you were really young? I, oh, yeah. I know this answer, but I want yeah. other people. Did you paint no, when I, you were really young? I, I grew up in Jamaica, as many people know. I now live in Grand Cayman, but as a child growing up, uh, I, I fished with parents who, were, who loved the outdoors. And my mother was an ardent naturalist. And so I was always exposed to nature. And of course, the fish became my primary focus. Yes. And I was sketching and, and doodling all the time. Um, I have a PhD in fishery science, you know, science became my, my career, but um, after a couple of shows in Florida back in the mid-late 80s, my hobby became my profession, and so we never looked back. So it's 35 years to answer your question that I've been in this business, Steve. Yeah. So I was one of the people, when you were, when COVID first started, you were you and your, I think it's your daughter, were doing those live yeah. things, and it was wonderful. I was going to say, that triggered the whole marine science education Did initiative. It? because so many people came uh, to watch. And I, I also wrote a new book during the pandemic. I mean, 
never let a good crisis go to waste. Yeah. But in doing the book tours, and I've been as far north as Virginia, and of course a lot down in Florida, doing the book tours, it's amazing how many people say, I love watching your Facebook live shows. I, I they were agree. normally on a Saturday, yeah. half an hour only, uh, and Jessica and I worked together on it, and it was very much, you know, on, off the cuff stuff. Um, but consistently, what I found so interesting was people enjoyed the art courses or art classes, yes. so to speak, the, the painting and drawing techniques that I use more than anything else. I find that quite fascinating. And then we had our art contests and got people to participate and, and do all that. But it was amazing how many young kids were also, you Thomas know. Thomas was watching. Oh, fantastic. So we've had a bit of a gap in the last six weeks because I've been traveling so much. Uh, not only promoting the new book, but it's back to work. We're all back to work. Yeah. And this is why it's so good to be back here at ICAST as well. And next month we got um, the the surf show, you know, a big apparel yeah. show in the same convention center. Really yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah. How long does from start to finish does it normally take to do one? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I they are all different sizes, as you know. Yes. I, I work in five different media. I, a lot of pen and ink work. They can be very time consuming, especially the stippling work. Um, there's a lot of watercolor, my favorite medium, by the way, a lot of people don't know that. Um, most of my work is done in watercolor, like, like these manatees here. Yes. This is actually a, a watercolor painting, uh, though many people wouldn't know, on the cover of our Guy Harvey magazine. Yeah, I'm going to take one of those issue. with me. And um, a lot of the art reproduced on apparel is, is watercolor too. But because the subject matter I like to paint are very big, the billfishes, the sharks, tunas, whales and dolphins. Um, I like to paint on a big canvas too. So during the pandemic, I did probably four really big pieces. It may have taken a month to answer, answer really? your question. Well, there's one of a, of a black marlin chasing a whole bunch of tunas and bananas. I think I saw that one. And um, it's called the Conqueror. And it, it has 250 <clears throat> individually painted fish in there. And so all the faces, the eyes, the fins, mm -hmm. the colors, the stripes, it takes a while. Is there one fish you like <clears throat> painting more than others? Because I'll be honest, Thomas yeah. has, <clears throat> Thomas has, you know, a duplicate of one on the on the wall. But I think it's a turtle and something else. Yeah. But well, what's your favorite one? Tur turtles are very popular with the customers. Yes. Especially the ladies, which is good. <laughs> um, Thomas, Thomas is only eleven, so yeah. he loves turtles. Yeah. A lot of people do. They become the sort of the cuddly creature of, yes. of the marine environment. Though more and more kids are loving sharks, which is really encouraging. Um, I, I love the billfishes. I can't get away from that. The, the, are you still fishing fish. as much as you? Do you get to fish at all? We, we do. We did in Cayman quite a bit. And last August, September, when we were allowed to use our boats again, by the way, how crazy is that? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, we're a small country, a small population um, with no COVID. They were very strict. When we finally got out, we, we caught some beautiful blue marlins. We went over from Grand Cayman to Little Cayman, which is 85 miles, um, and fished over there, stayed over there. We'd do four dives a day and fish in between. And we caught some beautiful big blue marlin. Um, but that was the last time I did any real fishing. You're still out diving too then? Oh yeah, yeah, all the time. And then we did our stingray survey last week in Cayman, Grand Cayman, which we do twice a year, January and July. Yeah. And it's our long-term ongoing uh, research work on the Cayman stingrays. Of course, with no visitors, there's the population has dropped because yeah. there's been inconsistent feeding. Yeah. <clears throat> so we like to keep a track of what's going on. Excuse me. And um, so that keeps us busy, cluster diving. And I'm hoping to get back to Panama. We got these um, organized expeditions down oh, yeah. to Panama to Tropic Star Lodge in September and November. Plus, we have a big research program going on down there, which has been discontinued, but we're going to revive that. Yeah. So what's in the future for the Guy Harvey Foundation? The Marine Science Education Initiative is growing fast and large, and we're getting lots of corporate support now. And so, and we've hired three new people to help manage the entire program. And uh, with all our wonderful video content, underwater video content, mm -hmm. that we, we apply to all the classes, um, we're going to get bigger and better and reach more people. Meanwhile, the research work still continues. Yeah. How do people get? How do people help get involved in that? Well, go to um, the the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation website okay. um, and sign up. Uh, learn about our projects. 
And here in Florida, you can do lots of things. Of course, you know, we partnered with the Florida Lottery, for example, yeah, the last two I months. I remember seeing that. Well, the proceeds that we derive from that, from the licensing of the artwork, goes right back into the Marine Science Education uh, Initiative. Yeah. So you buy a lottery ticket, you're helping us do that. You can also win wonderful prizes, by the yeah. way, and second chance prizes, including the Guy Harvey F-150, if you want. Yeah. Really? Look oh, at yeah. you. And a trip to Cayman. Uh, all sorts of cool things. But you can also, um, because I always say it takes cash to care, you can support us through buying our uh, specialty license plate, the one with the beautiful Mahi Mahi. Yep. Um, and that, that's a great way to help. Um, but it's to support our licensed products, especially the apparel. You're making a contribution to all of our work. Yes. How many? How many differences? Do you know how many different designer shirts you've made over the last? It's it's a lot. My art library. Uh, we have a, a large digital library that we make available not to the public but to our our collaborators and our licensees. Yeah. It's nearly three thousand pieces of original art oh that we gosh. put together in in the last twenty years. Anyway. Yeah. Do you have like a set goal to to go? I want to create this many new paintings every year. Or is it just, it's, do you it's, get creative yeah, and go, I want to paint? It's not haphazard, if, if that's what you're yes. thinking. No, there is a plan, and of course, I want to keep the licensees happy yeah. uh, above everything else. Um, but again, during the pandemic, I didn't leave the island for 15 months. And so that's the longest time I've ever spent in one place yeah. since I was five years old. I'm serious. And so it, it, it presented a wonderful opportunity to paint all the time after I finished doing the book and doing the editing and layout yeah. with uh, Bonnier Corporation here oh, in yeah. Orlando. Yeah. Um, thanks to them, of course, for all their hard work. Uh, we had the book in the booth. It's, you can go and have a look. Yeah, I will. But after that, um, you know, what else do you do with all this time? But get down and paint things you never had the time to paint. So I indulge myself. Yeah. yeah. And you got to spend a lot more time with like your daughter and doing yeah. things like that, and which my is wife. always in your way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, your wife too, of course. But yeah, we, Jillian and I have been married 32 years. Congratulations. Every, thank you. And every time the anniversary comes around, it's like, it feels like five years because you've been gone for the rest. You yeah. Know? And that, that weighs on me heavily. Yeah. yeah well, you're a very busy person. Well, it's, it's part of the problem of living in another country too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Well, I appreciate everything. I, I still think you're the best artist I've ever met. Oh, thank I, you very much. I've told yeah. you that. I think I've told you that a billion times. Well, thank you. But I, I appreciate it. Everyone, make sure you check out yeah. the Harvey Foundation, and thank you for the time yeah, this morning. Yeah, a pleasure. And uh, if you're coming to iCast, enjoy the show. It's the first big show any of us have been to for yeah. nearly two years, so glad to be back. Awesome. And good luck fishing, everybody. Thank you. iCast 2021, introduce yourself. I'm sorry I will never be able to pronounce your last name Eric I'm Eric Luzak here in the Lunker Hunt booth so we know a few new things for Lunker Hunt for 2021 yeah show and tell us what we're, we're gonna see this year well this is the big one right here this is a skitter sk skitter lizard easy for me to say so it's a topwater lizard a curly tail action on it really churns up the water we also have left lifelike arms on it that as it swims they kind of move up and down like that and wiggle on the water make lots of commotion it is weedless hollow body and has a big giant trailer hook stinger hook so you cannot miss them if they short strike that thing available in a, a bunch of realistic colors and uh, it is entered into best of show for best uh, softwater freshwater bait do you know when that's going to be available uh it will be available this fall this fall how much do you know the price it's going to be in the ten dollar range okay that's yeah. good yeah. now you have something else called the is it called the knock the this knocking one? jig. Oh, the knocking jig. Yeah, the knocking jig here. So this is actually really good for... In oh, the, wait a minute. Do that again? Yeah, so it, it clacks. So you oh, can yeah. shake it and get the clack out of it. Yeah. So basically, it is a vertical jigging lure. You can cast it and kind of crack it back to you, but it's going to do really well in the ice fishing world as well as any sort of vertical uh, deep water fishing. We have salt water and fresh water uh, colors and patterns and two different sizes, uh, one ounce and a five eighths. And uh, makes it, the wings here cause it to come up when it sinks and then slam down when you jerk it up. Yeah. And it really creates a unique clacking noise underwater. Now the other one, that's the one I want to see. The Boshi Blade. That's called the Boshi Blade. Yeah. So this is a bladed jerkbait. It is a floating jerkbait. Uh, it casts well. It has a weight transfer system in it. You can actually see the beads in there yep. as you cast. 
they go back, and as you reel in, it go forward, it helps it dive. It dives five to eight feet. When you jerk it, it gets a really nice spinning action. It comes all the way back around like that, and if you reel it into steady, it gets a nice wobble, and this blade spins and clacks and makes all this extra commotion and flash underwater. Just something different the fish haven't seen to attract more fish. Now when is that one going to be available? Same thing. So this one's going to be probably a little bit later in the fall. This one's a little bit behind the the lizard in production. And about the same price? Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, now last but not least, the Hive Series. I'm really excited about this. I'm a bass guy. I do a lot of flipping and heavy cover. So this Hive Series, the entire line of, of Hive Series Hive Series baits has an ultra durable soft plastic construction. So super, super stretchy. You can't break it. It's very, well, it's extremely buoyant. So it'll, the, the tentacles will stick up like this. This one's called the Typhon that I'm holding here. So almost like, a, meant to look like a tube style bait, yeah. but it is it is solid. It's got the ribs that'll help hold any of you, any scent that you want to spray on it. And also adds a lot of um, uh, commotion under water and a lot of vibration underwater and then you can rig it Texas style put a big heavy weight on it flip it works great uh, and everyone in the hive series you'll see actually has a hexagonal shape to it and that's why it's called the new hive series oh, okay and those those will be available in the fall these will be available also in the fall and they are going to retail on the 699 range that's awesome okay website and your website too if people want to find you well if you want to yeah if you want to find me personally i'm, I'm eric luzak so it's at eric luzak on instagram or eric luzak fishing on facebook and lunkerhunt.com to find more about the baits you can actually buy them online and follow them on instagram as well at lunker hunt thank you dude congratulations too thank you hi i'm steve wolf category manager for berkeley baits i'm here to talk to you today about some of our new topwater baits that we're bringing out uh, right now, you'll find them in your tackle shops this fall. So I want to begin with with our Jaywalker. So this is our Jaywalker in size 100. Uh, it's got a two hook configuration with stainless steel Fusion 19 treble hooks. Very strong, very sturdy, and anti-corrosive. This bait has an amazing topwater walk the dog action to it. So you're going to see with the narrow tail, A, you're going to see uh, it cast a country mile and then you're going to see just the movement it starts to move immediately upon casting this bait so there's no lag time at all uh, you're just going to see just it's got amazing profile to it it's a great shape we're offering this in actually two sizes you'll see it in a 120 millimeter configuration with three hooks on it as well so how many colors and what's the price on those so you're going to see this in 10 colors they're all saltwater patterns we have one other one here you'll see it and by the way look for this box as well this is where you're going to see it okay so you'll see this in the 120 you're going to see it in mullet patterns you'll see it in all chrome you're going to see it in a gold you know standard colors that you need to have inshore so the jaywalk you're going to see it also at 9.99 so it's oh. an amazing price point Good for this price. Bait. Uh, but all stainless steel hardware, it's not going to corrode in salt water conditions. Wash it off as you should any bait, but it's going to hold up. Next, we're really excited to talk about this. This is our salt water chopo. We have this in two sizes, 105 millimeter and 120 millimeter. And some of the great things about this, A, it's a very, very proven uh, freshwater bait. It's been in the bass world for a while. You're familiar with it. But some of the things that we did to make this saltwater worthy. It's a through wire construction, all stainless steel. Again, it's got the Fusion 19 treble hooks, laterally forged, very, very strong. It also has a very durable, sturdy propeller. This won't deform on a hot day in a tackle box, sitting in your boat, sitting in your car. This is gonna stand up to the conditions that you fish in. And again, you're gonna see this in 10 great saltwater patterns. So very excited about this. You know, as far as action and how to, how to use this bait in saltwater, because it's probably a little unique if you're just inshore saltwater angler, this is cast and retrieve first and foremost. You can put it out there and just put a slow retrieve on it like you would with a gold spoon. Then if you also want to impart a little bit of action, give it a few rips and you'll really just get a lot of surface disturbance with this bait. So fantastic. And then the bait I'm unbelievably excited to see again. So very excited to see the Berkeley Magic Swimmer. Very, very innovative three segment articulated bait. So we've updated this with a previous model that we had with treble hooks on the back, on the front as well. We used to have two hook configuration on the back. We put a little bit more durability, I think, with the, the extra treble here. 
you're going to see this across several different patterns. Uh, I think we have like 12 different patterns. We also have a variety of different sink rates. You're going to see a floating bait. You're going to see also uh, a fast sinking bait. And it could be anything from a 110 up to a 228. It's huge. So you could catch a panfish with this, and then you could turn around and take a big one and catch a shark with it. Amazing how, bait. How many colors is that going to come in? I believe we have about 12 to 15 colors in this. And what's the price going to be on that one? So this varies. You may see it starting around the $14.99, and then as you get into the bigger sizes, it goes up to $19.99. Still a great thing. Very excited about this. Amazing action. You can just pull this back with a steady retrieve as well. It's kind of a little bit of a no-brainer when you do that, but you can impart a jerking action on this that just gives an amazing, just like a, a dead, distressed yeah. uh, bait fish. Really is something else in the water. Awesome. Yeah. Tell me your name again. Steve Wolf. Steve Wolf. Everyone yep. go to purefishing.com, correct? Look, look for these this fall. Yep, you'll awesome. find them in your tackle shop. Look for them at Pure Fishing as well. Awesome. Thank you, dude, for the time. Take care. Here he is. Howdy, everybody. Howdy, fishing freaks. <laughs> You see this guy on the internet nonstop. I have a couple questions for you. Let me put this down. Yes, sir. And first, let me say thank you. Thank you. Uh, how did you get introduced into the outdoors? Probably the typical answer. I, I got introduced by my dad. Uh, he took me out when I was really little. Uh, on the Tennessee River, he took me fishing when I was like three or four years old. I caught my first fish when I was three. Uh, it was a white bass. Was fishing with him, uh, literally that fish. I'm so lucky. I just I had a little Snoopy pole, you know, a little push button Snoopy pole. The white bass came up schooling in the river. I slapped my lure on the water and I caught a fish. Nice. And it it intrigued me. So at, after after that, every Saturday morning, I would. I would see if the boat was going to be in the driveway or not. My dad would go out and fish with his buddies, and I would always just cry if my dad had gone without me in the boat. So he took me all the time, though, and he got me introduced, got me hooked. Eventually got into total outdoors hunting and fishing. So Could yeah. you ever remotely imagine that the Guggen Squad would be as successful as you are mm. where you dwarf a lot of the big companies? Oh. Yeah, it's wild content and viewership could you ever have imagined that no it's it's wild when so I've done everything in the industry pretty much uh, you know I, st I started out fishing tournaments and doing all that uh, eventually got into sales and and doing media stuff and everything and I always just wanted to work in the industry find a way to, to have a job in the industry and and work with this it's not huge like everyone thinks it is if you come here it looks big and everything but it's actually pretty tight group of people and uh, just to have a job in the industry I'm, I'm very blessed I'm thankful for it but to, to be you know at the success Guga squad is right now it's uh, yeah it's pretty amazing so one Guggen bait that you can only throw for the rest of your life. Is it the one that you have in your hands, just out of curiosity? Uh, so if we're talking about hard baits, uh, I'm a huge spinnerbait guy. Um, I, if I had one bait, a jig. jig it's going to yeah. be a, a half ounce black and blue juicy jig. Let me just, let me just yeah. say black and blue right there. Black and blue. It's, it's always true. Black and blue. Got to gotta throw black and blue. So, uh, But yeah, man. But, we're here at the Catchco booth right now, um, looking at a lot of our Google Squad products, and you know we started out with just a couple, and now we've got a full line, so it's it's pretty awesome. It's a good feeling. Where do you see you guys going in the future? Do you continue with all the putting out videos and doing yeah, that? absolutely. Continue making lures. Uh, we're going to continue to entertain all of our audience and try to get uh, younger people into fishing, get everyone into fishing, not just younger people. Grow the sport. Um, me personally, I'm starting to to really think about and get involved with conservation nice. um, and with the growth of the sport just keep our fisheries awesome so the first time you go out there to your to your lakes and ponds you have a good experience and you want to go back again so that that helps everybody out so not like he needs you to subscribe but you should go subscribe lake fork guy <laughs> Thank yeah. you for the. I know you're going fishing, so thank you very yes, much. Yes, I'm about to go fishing right now. I'm going to do a little frog, and we actually got a brand new bait that we're uh, we're coming out here? with. It's here. It's in my backpack right now. Am I allowed to see I, it? I, I might give your viewers a sneak peek since you got the camera on right now. So 
And look at this bag. This yeah. it says G on it. I mean, come on now. Yeah, it's got LFG on there. Oh, does it? It's personalized. Yeah. But uh, we've been working on a, a grass fishing worm solution oh, yeah. for a while. With a curly tail like a speed worm? Yep, pretty much. So that's oh, you're, something we're working on right there. You're, you're going to use that today, aren't you? That's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're gonna, you'll kill it with that. Yeah, so that, that is in the works. Um, we'll be launching that. Um, if everything goes right the next few months. So it's looking pretty good. Awesome. Thank you very much for the time. Seriously. I Thank really you. Do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Tie you. lines. We'll see you later. Hit like and subscribe. Take your own kids fishing. <laughs>